If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. My name is Tim Hollanden. I've been in the real estate industry for 22 years. I've uh, been a broker owner, been a team leader, still a team leader, uh, been an agent, uh, been a small producer, been a huge producer. Uh, and now I'm at eXp Realty. My pathway started as any typical agent. You start out at a, a franchise real estate brokerage. Uh, in my case, it was an ERA franchise. I didn't know any better. I went there because a friend worked there and said, hey, you should work with me. I said, okay. Uh, was there for seven years. Uh, I left for seven, after seven years when I realized there was much better splits, much smaller fee structures, uh, more profitable, and, and went to a REMAX brokerage at that point. But uh, I didn't get along well with my broker there. And so I said, you know, I was an entrepreneur all my entire life uh, in IT services for 20 years prior to real estate. So I've, I've always been an entrepreneur. And so I ultimately at that point decided to buy my own REMAX franchise. Um, did that until uh, I had a life scare. Um, full disclosure, uh, had a quadruple bypass at 49 years old, and that kind of changed my life. It, it made me look at things a little bit differently. It made me realize, you know, I hadn't accomplished the things that I wished I had would have accomplished as a Christian man, and I really just wanted to uh, give back more. So um, I felt like God spoke to me twice uh, that time. Uh, because of the heart surgery. And, and then again, the sermon series at church one day was entitled Simplify. I'm like, oh my gosh, God's telling me to make changes in my life, simplify my, simplify my life. And um, that led me to deciding to sell the Remax franchise. Uh, I did that uh, roughly 10, 12 years ago. And I stayed on and ran the brokerage because I absolutely love to coach and train and counsel uh, real estate agents. Uh, and I still do that to this day, but I agreed to stay on and manage that company for the new owner uh, as the broker in charge of that office. The company still exists today. And while I was working through my three-year no-compete uh, as a result of selling the Remax franchise, I found eXp Realty. Wasn't looking. In fact, I was never leaving Remax. I thought it was the best brand out there. Um, I was wrong. Thank God I had an open mind because I saw eXp and, and I saw an opportunity for agents to be compensated multiple ways. And this is not about recruiting. Yeah, you can recruit agents and be compensated a little piece of, of what those agents do. That's part of it. But I didn't come to eXp for that. I came to eXp because I wanted to slow down as I start to age and sell less homes and ultimately have the ability to walk away from real estate because most agents can't. Uh, most agents are on this transactional treadmill, we call it, and they can never get off of it because they're rich when they come from a closing. Then they're poor again. They're unemployed. They got to go find another client or another employer, and, and then they're poor, rich, poor, rich, poor. That's the cycle an agent is on. And um, I didn't want to be a part of that. I didn't want to be 80 years old and still unlocking doors for buyers. So I really came to eXp because I wanted to build uh, residual income and I wanted to accumulate stock in this agent-owned publicly traded company. Um, those were my two reasons. Um, what I didn't realize is that I was an influencer and didn't even know it. I started finding agents knocking on my door, say, hey, Tim, why did you go to eXp? I'd tell them the story and, and they would follow me. And, and before I knew it, I woke up you know, with six, $7,000 a month in residual income. And I thought, wow, not only is this fun, it, it's, it's profitable, but what I really enjoyed, and probably the reason those agents came to me in the first place, is because they knew what value I could give to them. And today I spend all of my time uh, just helping agents become better agents, helping broker owners that are struggling right now. They're losing their you-know-what um, because they have this brick-and-mortar model. That's, that's the old model. You know, Cloud-based real estate company is the thing of the future. Uh, but these brick-and-mortar brokers, they're struggling. They're calling me today saying, Tim, what do I do? Is, is would EXP be interested in, in merging my business into theirs and helping me get rid of this overhead, helping me get rid of all these training responsibilities, these fixed responsibilities that they have. And they don't even think about this, but they realize that, huh, 
actually I wouldn't be legally responsible for those agents any longer as well. So it's just a lot of things. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going on way too much about that, but I, I'm passionate about changing real estate agents' lives and, and that's fulfilling the whole that I felt I had when I was thinking I was on my deathbed in that hospital surgery, um, realizing, gosh, I wish I would have given back more. So that, that's what I'm about. EXP piqued my interest because of the ability to get compensated in multiple ways. You know, most agents have no clue what our model's about. They only know what their broker told them, which probably isn't even true because he or she's trying to keep them, retain them. But EXP for me, as I'd said previously, was, was more about changing lives, getting compensated in multiple ways, and, and ultimately giving me a retirement exit strategy to have income coming in when I decided to retire. The entrepreneurial spirit in me was, was fostered there as well because you know, EXP is all about the agent. It's, it's my brand, it's not about the EXP brand. EXP is a phenomenal brand now, having been in business since 2009. But EXP allows the agents to be entrepreneurial, brand themselves either as an individual or a team, what have you, mega team. Um, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's about the agent, not the company. I was an influencer and didn't really know it. And, and what I meant by that was that I found agents that looked up to me and I didn't realize it. You know, I was having an influence on agents' lives because of either my production in my market or the fact that I built a very successful team in the Louisville, Kentucky market, or I have licenses in multiple states. You know, I found myself and, you know, and I've been a, a Tom Ferry certified training instructor and that's not the exact term, but I found agents calling me saying, Tim, I, I respect you. I saw you made the move to EXP. Why is that? Can Tell me, am I missing something? So I just felt like uh, maybe followers is a better word because a lot of people followed me to EXP when I, when I joined. Today, I lead an organization called the EXP Freedom Team, and we are 3,000 agents strong. And last year in 2023, in a down market, we did over $5 billion with a B dollars in real estate sales. Um, I am coaching and training and pouring into those agents. Uh, for example, we have four classes a week that those agents can participate in and they're led not necessarily by me. I might moderate them. I might lead some of them, but they're led by the best agents at eXp, which are called eXp icon agents. Um, I've been an icon agent three of the years I've been with eXp, but we bring in the best of the best and it, it's a different level of training because, and, and what I mean by that is most brokerages, the smartest agent in the room does the training. The problem with that is that's local knowledge. It's not national knowledge. And further yet, it's not global knowledge. And I wanna emphasize the agent in the local market, in the local office doing the training doesn't teach the agents in the class everything they know because they know at the end of the day they're training their competitors. So they always leave out the secret sauce. At eXp, because we are all agent owners, we give you everything because if I can help another agent win, the company wins, and when the company wins, all of us agent owners are winning. So the type and quality of training is completely different than I'd, anything I'd ever experienced before. I get my fulfillment today seeing another agent win. Helping an agent go from $3 million a year producer to $10 million a year producer. Helping an agent that's aspired to growing a team, helping them figure out if they really are set out to be a team leader. Do they have all the things to give their team members or should they just continue doing what they're doing? Uh, on the converse of that, you know, helping them grow a successful team. I get fulfillment out of educating an agent in a different market about eXp and they come to eXp and before you know it, they're doing 10 times the volume they used to do. Uh, their expenses went from $1,800 a month to $85 a month. I mean, these are major differences in, in the old fashioned model and the eXp cloud-based model. And the fact that we're all agent owned, every agent is accumulating stock. When they close their first sale, they get stock in the company. They're, they're an owner in the first 30, 45 days, however long it takes them to close their first sale. So, so that's fulfilling, but you know, changing lives, changing real estate agents' lives. I hope one day that's on my tombstone. Tim touched a lot of real estate, thousands of real estate agents um, in, in his career as a real estate 
call me what you like, a coach, a mentor, a, a godfather, some people call me. I don't know why. I guess it's because of all my gray hair and my age, but um, I, just, I just love helping people and, and agents specifically. I'll probably never really retire because from my experience, when people retire, they die. Um, I guess I will feel fulfilled no matter quantitatively what I'm doing, whether it's helping two or three agents a year or hundreds of agents a year. Um, I guess to, to answer the question in a non-tangible sort of the way, let's go back to why I came to EXP. I came to EXP because of the entrepreneurial culture. I came to EXP because of the stock and I've certainly accumulated a lot of stock in my six years at EXP. And I came because it's a strategy that helps an agent eventually get off the transaction treadmill if they want to. So for me, and part of my vision for the Freedom Team, we named it obviously that on purpose. It, it's not just to be financially free, but it's to be time free and location free. Because if you have all the money in the world, but have no time or people to spend it with or spend it on, or you can't go away because you're chained to your job, um, that's not freedom. So I try to help agents create balance in time freedom, financial freedom, and location freedom. That's how, when I will have arrived, and that's going to be, you know, like I say, when I, when I slow down, whenever that is, you know, still making an impact on some number of agents will, will be fulfilling, whether that'll be the arrival date or not, you know, who knows. But I'm driven really just to help agents become better agents, helping them see an ultimate exit strategy, helping them to be more financial time and location free in their lives and, and ultimately give them a choice. Because when they are burnt out, ready to throw in the towel, you know, some of those agents are going to have to continue working. Others are going to have balance in their life that allows them to have choices. Probably more than anything today, I'm passionate about helping the broker owner because I was one. Um, I've, I've been there, done that. I understand the, the pain. I went through 2007, 8, 9, 10 to some extent, the, the recession. And I know what it feels like to have 100% income one day and 60% income in a recessionary market another day. And, and I feel sorry, truly, genuinely sorry for the broker owner, owner today. Um, because I know all about those fixed expenses, you know, that rent or that mortgage payment, that coffee bill, that electric bill, the insurance bill, the cleaning fees, the, the water in the, I mean, go on and on and on. I know you're probably thinking, gosh, I probably have to take my color copy charge to 50 cents when it was a quarter before. I mean, I know you're looking under every corner to try to figure out how to minimize expenses and increase income. Um, I hope you're not cutting splits and increasing fees um, because that's not fair to the agent that's also suffering, but I feel your pain. I would love, love, love to talk to any broker owner out there that would like to explore ways to decrease expenses and increase fees to talk about whether or not EXP is a fit to merge your brokerage into the EXP platform. Because I can assure you this, I would never want to be a broker owner again. Um, it, it's painful. I was legally liable for all the licenses that hung below me, and I had no control over any of those agents. You could go to real estate jail for something you never even knew your agent did because you're responsible for it. Um, at EXP, that legal liability is, is under somebody else's domain. So at eXp, you have the ability to bring your brokerage into the company, have all of the training done for you. And this is training not done by the local agent in the office that doesn't want to teach the agents everything because they're telling their secrets. This is training done by the best agents in the business globally. These are new market trends that we don't even know about in our market yet that are being taught every day, every week. We have over 80 hours of live training every single week at eXp. I never could have given my agents 80 hours of training a week and they wouldn't have come to it anyway. But um, it, it answers a lot of problems. Um, for your $85 monthly fee, you can run your brokerage at eXp and get paid multiple ways instead of only getting a commission split. 
the brokers out there that are making their money off of those agents that are brand new and have a 50 50 split instead of the people that have an 80 20. Um, that, that, that's, that's sad, honestly. Um, we have a platform that you can run your business on and, and ultimately net more money, not have any of the expenses, the frustrations, and uh, the ultimate liability that you have today. There are broker owners out there that where EXP would not be a good fit if their ego is too big to even look at it in the first place. Um, if they want to be in total control and have all the liability and costs that come along with it. Um, but you know, the inverse to that is the XP is a fit for everybody. It's just a matter of what pieces of EXP you want to latch onto that to complement what you're already doing or to solve for what rock in your shoe problem you're having today or ongoing. And, and this, obviously the market's down with everything going on in our industry. It's all about expense minimization and revenue increasing. And the, the, let's face it, I mean, really, if you get really super honest, real estate brokerage is not a profitable model. It's not profitable because of the overhead cost. The exception to that is where the broker owner is still a selling real estate agent or a team leader, him or herself. But if you pull your revenue out of your business P&L, it's not going to be profitable unless you have hundreds of agents and you're getting a little bitty piece off of everyone. Well, that's CXP's model. Only we don't have all the expenses. So imagine owning your own brokerage, still having complete control within moral, ethical, and legal guidelines, following advertising red regs that are not set by EXP, they're set by your state real estate commission. That is a world that you can operate in. Uh, and, and I don't, I'm not putting anybody down. Everybody's got an ego. I had one too. I was never leaving Remax. But there are opportunities out there and the smart brokers will know what they don't know and will at least listen and explore options because right now many of you need a lifeline it might or might not be exp realty <laughs>